Doctor. Sure, Rosie Matena is an accomplished and award-winning actress, presenter and producer, a woman and a child's rights activist, one of South Africa's best-dressed women and a nominee in our Women of the Year Awards, but she's still human, believe it or not, and battles a condition that's more common to many women than you'd think, endometriosis. Rosie, great to have you on the show. Welcome Thank to you. Hello Doctor. Thank you very much. Tell me why you're so vocal about a condition that most women would rather not talk about. You know, there are a lot of issues around women, a lot of issues or, or conditions that women go through that are seen as taboo. Right. Um, and, and these uh, endometriosis is one of the things that I just came up came about. I don't know anything about it. Um, it, it made sense about all the, the symptoms that, that had happened in my life. And also, it's to do with, with our productive organs, which is very, very important. Um, also, for career women who want to have children later on in life, look after your bodies. Um, if you have it, you can treat it. And, and that's one of the reasons why I came vocal about it. That's a great message. So you're educating yourself and educating others? Yeah, I educate myself a lot on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you have. In fact, that's why we have Krista here to educate us on that, Krista. Tell us a bit about endometriosis. What is it? It refers, obviously, to the endometrium of the uterus, but what's the condition? The lining of the, of the womb is called the endometrium. And when you get um, the cells transplanted in places other than the lining uh, inside the tummy, the lining of the abdomen, then uh, because of this foreign tissue being there, it causes inflammation and scar tissue. And that causes all the symptoms, pain and possibly infertility. Okay, I wanted to ask you about that. Tell me about your symptoms. I mean, how did you become aware that you had endometriosis? Every now and then I used to have really excruciating pain, but then growing up as a child, my menstrual pain was always very bad. So I just I assumed it was that. And unfortunately, I was with a partner at the time. We were having intercourse and it was this incredibly sharp pain. Rushed me to the hospital. They said, well, they saw a few cysts, whatever. And I was on holiday in Cape Town. And then when I came back to Joburg, my doctor said, okay, well, it's endometriosis, but also one of the cysts had burst. And so they had to drain it, and then that's, that's when they discovered the, what, what my symptoms were. And the diagnosis was made. Yeah. Would you concur, Krista, in terms of symptoms? Absolutely, yes. A typical endometriosis presents with pain, a severe uh, period pain, pain with intercourse, as Rosie just mentioned, pain with bowel movement, pain with passing of urine, a chronic low abdominal pain, mm. and then obviously the infertility component. So when would you see a doctor? if you were suffering with those symptoms? Pain is not normal. So right. if you're worried or you've got chronic pain uh, or pain is getting worse despite treatment, I think you need to see a professional mm -hmm. and that needs to be investigated. No. And also, sorry, sorry to cut you off, and I mean, this is a question that I will pose to you. If you haven't had children, say, in your 30s, and you are experiencing that type of pain, one doctor said to me was that you should definitely just go and see a doctor and just double check on it, because one of the things that I found on the internet, it's known as career woman's disease. You know, women who have put their career before having children, um, which I think is an important message to send out to women that, you know, if you are having that, you can treat it. <laughs> so, so, so you don't have to be punished. I'm glad you brought that up, Rosie, yeah. for two reasons. One, looked it up on the internet. Google is not the be all and end all. In fact, it's a dangerous search engine. Mm. Uh, you get so much information, but not a lot of it is vetted. So where would we get great information? You need to see a professional, and, and especially, as Rosie, with um, something suggestive of endometriosis, there are numerous very good uh, professionals in this country specialising in endometriosis. Okay. Also another thing, to, sorry to cut in again, is that I found there are actually talk, talk rooms and chats that you can speak to women who have experienced endometriosis. Mm. And that helped me through the emotional component because my doctor, as much as he was fantastic and helped me out, he didn't warn me about the emotional that I was just going to cry at a, at a Lux commercial or, or be depressed and, and argue with my partner because your body is going through all these crazy hormonal changes. Um, so that's also another just way of just like speaking speaking to women out there who are dealing with it and who have dealt with it. And let me laud you for what you're doing now because exactly <laughs> what you're doing is, is not making it okay but saying, hey, we all suffer with this, yeah. we're not alone, mm. you know, we're part of this. What are the treatment options, Krista? Um, you can opt to treat just the symptoms. Pain medication, the pill, taking the, the normal contraceptive pill uh, in the normal way monthly, having a period monthly, the so-called tricyclic way by having a period every third or fourth month. Um, also, in, uh, to the uh, injection, contraceptive injection, the, uh, which can make you stop having your period. And a very novel way nowadays is the hormone containing coil, the Mirena, which is a very sensible and effective way of treating endometriosis. How, how do you manage your endometriosis? Um, with the, the Mirena. 
Okay. Um, it was, it's one, one operation, you go in, you have it done, and it, it, four to five years you can keep it in. You've got to keep on monitoring it, and it's peace of mind. And Rosie, give me an idea of day to day. Are you consciously aware of endometriosis, or is consciously, it just every now, Every period? now and then it will be, I'll get excruciating pain, excruciating pain. Um, but also it's also stress driven. So I know when I need to like cut back on work, take it easy, go to the spa, chill out. Um, if, if I get, get that excruciating pain and it isn't around the time of my period, I know I just need to calm down. If it does get worse, then I go see my doctor. Chrissy, your wife has got endometriosis. What's been her experience? She's been operated on by a very good colleague of mine and only now she realized that pain is not normal. She was so used to having pain and now suddenly life's a breeze. What would you give as a message to people that might have endometriosis, Krista? Pain is not normal. Yeah. If you experience severe period pains or pain that, that's worrying you, you need to see a professional. Yeah. And please stay away from the internet, see a professional. Yeah, see a professional. <laughs> hey, you're not married yet, but you're going you're to be married soon. You're yes. going to have kids. Yes. What if your daughter develops endometriosis? What would you say to her? Um, uh, one of the messages that I would give them and give young girls out there is that our bodies are so complex and so intriguing that something like this shouldn't hinder the rest of our lives. We can treat it. It is preventable. Um, if you are um, in, um, having pain or thinking that something is totally wrong, see a doctor, see a professional. We have so many out there. Absolutely. We say it all the time, if in doubt, check it out. Krista, thank you so much, Rosie. Thank you. A treat as always. Like Rosie, you're not alone if you battle with endometriosis. In fact, one in 10 women suffer from it, and many will endure it silently for years before getting help. There's never a good reason to suffer in silence. Pain is not normal. So if that's you, make an appointment with your doctor right now. Hello, doctor.